Okay, so what is a gap year? Taking a year off. Thank you. Okay. okay. Now this became a very popular term back about five years ago when they had that, the, they had the double cohort. You know, you had the five year students and the four year students and they were all graduating at the same time. So this was the big, take a gap year. Um, now they've actually institutionalized it. They're calling it this. Now, now people, uh, universities in the states are actually giving uh, credit for students who do a gap year. Um, so it's becoming a big thing, almost a whole industry, and now there are, you know, organizations that provide programs for students who take a gap year, and, you know, there's opportunities to go over, uh, overseas and to work. Um, there are lots of reasons why students <coughs> don't choose to do that. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that when I graduated from high school, the word was, you don't take a year off. Because if you do, you won't want to go back. Anybody remember that? Yeah. Absolutely. Guess what? Now we're in a different space altogether. What's the difference now between what it was 30 years ago? Well, 30 years ago, you could actually get a job with a high school diploma. That's not necessarily the case anymore. The opportunities available to you with a high school diploma nowadays are very, very limited. They weren't so much. So students making that choice, in fact, I'll tell you a, another story. My daughter graduated from high school and she wanted to take a year off. And her, fa her father and I were, <gasps> palpitations, you know, she's not going to go back, we're going to have to, you know, what's, and you know what? I said, okay, you're going to have to work. Okay, no free ride. Not, ha not hanging out at home and going partying all the time, you're going to have to work. That was fine. She got two jobs. She worked really hard, harder probably than she ever did. She got fired from one of her jobs, not because she didn't do a good job, but because her supervisor wanted to hire her niece. That's what it's like, earning minimum wage with no power and no education. Not a problem convincing her that she wanted to go to university. So next year she applied and she was, you know, and she was on, she's finished now, actually. Um, so that, things have changed, you know, students, that idea of a gap year isn't as scary, I don't think, as it used to be. So I encourage you to think about it. Again, it's not for everybody, you know, but it's not at something that I think we have to fear as we did maybe, as I said, 20 years ago. 